but in any case, uh, welcome everybody to, uh, well, there's the lodge apparently. That's fancy. Got a fancy bar there. But this is Hartsburg we are coming up to, so let's check out this small town. As with most small towns in Illinois, you're going to have a giant grain elevator. So all the farmers in the area can uh, store their grain. That would make sense, right? Grain in a grain elevator. Let's see where I told it to go here. Oh, it, uh, the turn signal on very, very early for some reason. Let's see, I set the destination for a church up here, I believe. These are again roads a Tesla has never been on, so I doubt it has much of any mapping. Let's see what it decides to do. So as we're here, well, see, that was pretty good. Is it just going to stop here? Wow, that's like the first time it's, you know, tried to park for me. That's pretty cool. But here we are at the Prairie Land Christian Center in Hartsburg, Illinois. I don't know, this is a very small town as you can see right here. Edit a trip. Let's, let's make a trip around the, uh, the town here. If it'll let me. Let me add a point. Hello. What? Why do you hate me, car? Oh, I know, I wanted to go there, then let me add another point. Okay, we'll do that one, then we'll go... Add another one. Oh, it's going to be all out of order, isn't it? That's fine, I guess. We'll add another one. Oh, that's like a dead-end road. Sure, we'll add one here. Is that a road? I'm not sure if that's a road or not. We'll add one here. Add a point there, right? right. Gotta go check out the baseball field. Add a point there. These are like gonna be all out of order. Add a point there. Oh, this is craziness. I'm curious if the car can, how the car will handle this. And then we'll do a final, I wanna do a final one here, but it's gonna be like all out of order. It's going to want to go there too. Okay, let's do edit trip. I'll put the uh, cemetery last. Okay. So there we go. We got a full tour of Hartsburg right here. So let's see if it'll see if I can engage it right here. Yep. See how it handles, and you'll get a beautiful ex exploration of Hartsburg, Illinois. Here. Spun the wheels there, which is always good. I think the speed limit's 50 miles an hour in town, which is kind of funny. Okay, this is an uncontrolled turn, so it doesn't need to stop. But that was good. Not sure what it would do if it, a car was coming. Maybe we'll find out. Still thinks it's 45 miles an hour. That, that's kind of funny. Okay, well here car, can we keep going? How do we go to the next one on the trip? Do we have to go in and like, can 
continue trip. I think it would just like go around. Go car, go, what are you doing? It's still in full self-driving, it's just not going. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there it goes. It's very, going very slow for some reason. It's going seven miles an hour. I'm not sure what it's doing. It's just stopped randomly. Okay, let's turn it back off and back on. I'm gonna hit the accelerator here. There it goes. Gonna drive, well, I guess I missed that pothole, probably by coincidence. All right, there's a sharp curve right here. Handled that perfectly. Well, this is a gravel road. I'm not sure if this is sure this is an actual road, I believe. See how it does on this road. I don't know if this is a road or someone's driveway, but... Well, it's, it's working. I wanted to avoid whatever that was on the ground there. There's a shoe in the road. Handled that well, besides me intervening for the piece of wood on the road that I didn't want to hit. Press accelerator to resume, so it should go to the next one if I hit the accelerator, right? Hopefully, okay. Maybe I understand the trip planner now, how it works. It is kind of funny, it thinks it's 45 miles an hour through this whole town. This uh, town is completely deserted, apparently. I haven't seen, like, one person or car. Yeah, another intersection without stop signs. Yeah, I just, oh, oh, I probably can't go this way. I don't know if this is the road here. Nope. That's not a road. People are going to be wondering, what on earth is this person doing? Well, that's a Tesla nav problem. Probably not a car problem. Let's see if I can get to wherever I set the point on this... this uh, That was definitely not a road. I don't know who does the mapping data, if it's Google or what, but there are definitely some roads on here that do not exist in real life that the car is convinced do exist. All right, we want to keep going. I've already been to this point. I don't know why it's bringing me back here. Come on, car. What are you doing with the navigation here? I don't know, does it not like delete, tr delete edit points when you've already been to them? There we go, we'll do this. See where I told it to go. See if it can make it. We gotta go to the other side of this giant metropolis here. Trying this right. No, is it going straight? Yep, we're going straight through here. I thought we were turning right, but I lied. Another railroad track. See how it go handles it. It's slowing down. 
Yeah, that was fine. Managed to find the post office, always important. There's a lot of tractors for sale on the right here. Perfectly clear, it should go. Yeah, it still spins the tires on gravel, which is not, not an ideal way to drive. Definitely accelerates a bit fast. Let's turn to the baseball field here. This amazing baseball field with literally zero parking. That's kind of funny. Do I just have to like manually delete each one once I've been there? I guess I do because. Otherwise, it's just get, gets confused. It's kind of a flaw in the trip planner. You think like once you've been to a place, it would delete it from the trip planner. I'm not sure why it leaves it in there like that. All right. I guess we're at the Hartsburg Latham School here on the right. We got it with a completely overgrown baseball field. it from that stop sign there. Sees that person gets over a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Back in I don't yeah, I don't know what's going on with the speed limits here. It's definitely not 40 miles an hour through the center of town. It's turning on this narrow road here. if it gets confused. We're kind of in the parking lot. Press accelerator to resume. Yeah, we're, we're not on the road here. So it definitely gets, oh, I wonder what it's going to do in this situation. It needs to go right. Oh, we didn't go right. We were supposed to go right there. That's kind of like a U-turn cul-de-sac or something. It's uh, it's not gonna make it. There's no way. Yep, it's good. It's gonna give up right there because it cannot back up yet. That's a really weird road situation right here, though. This is kind of understandable. It got confused. Delete that one. Where's the next one? See if we can get out of here. This is a really bizarre kind of road that's going on here. <clears throat> yeah, the main issue I, I've seen is it has problems with gravel roads. It's like it cannot tell it's a road for some reason so it was like drive off of it like you'd think with white gravel road and everything else is green it would it could, would know that the, the that the white gravel is the road right but but i guess no good right there. Oh, people must think I am insane. And 
we've arrived at the next point on the map. So let's delete it and go to the next one. Oh, it about went off the road right there. Kind of just sends it through these un through these intersections with no uh, with no stop signs. Doesn't even slow down. Just like oh, I guess it. I assume it is looking and can't and knows there's no car, so it just goes. Now there's a lot of statues there. My gosh, what is going on there? And we looks like we've arrived at the next point on the map. So let's delete it and the next one is going to be the uh, Hartsburg Cemetery here. The main tourist attraction, of course. Yep, it just sends it at like 10 miles an hour. Yeah. Whoa. We're... Well, that was a bit fast. I mean, I, I saw there was no traffic coming, so I let it go through, but... I, I don't know if it should go through an intersection like that at 30 miles an hour. That seems a bit unsafe to me. But I mean, if the car can see it's clear, I, I guess it's fine. But I don't know how you know that. It's not like we're getting any other cars to test it. But Very impressive, honestly, overall. There's a giant water tower, which I'm sure we've seen. I don't see any traffic, so... Definitely handling these uh, railroad crossings just fine. I mean, I assume it doesn't see them at all, but appears to be handling it. Ooh, that's a bank. It's a pretty cool building. I thought the speed limit was 55, then it went back to 40. That, dude, that's bizarre. I don't know where it's getting these speed limit signs, because there hasn't been one the entire time. leaving Hartsburg right now. There's a beautiful baseball field on the left. We're kind of out on country roads here. Without any line. This is what's most impressive, I think. It, it can work on roads without lane lines. I don't think any other car manufacturer can do that. to be on pre-mapped roads as well if you want the their version of full self-driving. Make sure nobody's here. I, I'm not going to go in if people are here, obviously. Oh, it just gave up trying to turn there. <laughs> Hartsburg Union Cemetery. Memory of Margaret Margaret Hoser. Wonder who that is. Driving. Whoa, what is it beeping for? Take control. Well, I'm manually driving it. Why is it telling me to uh, take control immediately? It's kind of weird. Just randomly giving super serious air messages.
All right, let's let's figure out real quick where I'm going next. No towns out here. We're in the middle of nowhere. We can go to Bethel Church. How far is that? We should go to Emden. We're at the, the school district is both these towns, so let's go up to Emden. Why not, right? Hopefully he doesn't want me to go on the interstate. Uh, let's go... What is this? Is this the frontage road? Yeah, it looks like a frontage road. We'll do that. That's exciting. Alright, let's... Let's see if we can, uh, this will work. I'm guessing it will not. But I could be impressed. I don't want it to go off the road. People obviously, people, when you visit cemeteries like this, people park on the side of the road here to visit relatives, so. It's definitely not insane if you drive in the grass a little bit. Oh, I think... It has to go to the left here to make this turn. I wanted to make sure it turned. It's actually working, which is impressive. See if we can get through this narrow gap on the... So it's working here, unlike the other cemetery I was in. Is it scared of the uh, poles? Oh, that this has been very good. There we go. That's impressive right there. Maybe all my training driving in crazy conditions is paying off. But in any case, that's going to be my tour of Hartsburg. So if you watch that video, thanks for watching. And now we're going to go to Emden. So tune in for that video. Or if you want to watch the entire, I don't know how long it's going to be. Apparently, oh, I can't see the time it's it's at, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next one.